Hey guys, this is Junior Creator, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at Palantir, um, Carvana, and also SoFi Technology Stock. We'll be doing technical analysis, looking at key support and resistance levels alongside reading the price action. We will be also taking a look at how all in all the market has been handling these stocks and what we can expect based on their price action in coming days and weeks on either the long or the short side of these positions. With that, please remember none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. And let's begin. Let's start off with Palantir today. So Palantir, right now I have it on my hourly interval. Let's jump to the daily level and let's go over first few things what we have. So I have covered Palantir before as well. Few things to note from those videos, the level of $14.41 or so or like to be precise, $14.37 is what we were looking for as a good consolidation because price action was staying above it. So this level was acting as a good support and potential test of double top or even the level of 1594 and this double top was in play. Now, looks like Palantir has done just that. So, and what, how you have to trade in these cases, guys, that if you are using this, say, let's say we used $14.37 as the support and we got around here, the stop loss needs to be put underneath it. There is because, look, we work with the best probability of the direction, but then if it doesn't work, we do have our stop loss to save us, right? So in this case, um, that would have worked out. And definitely to trade such things is like you wait for the, you know, you trade it to the double top area, right? So in this case, the double top would be where it's forming now from the previous peak, recent previous peak. So that being said, this definitely is the level to watch. And let me mark this on my chart as well. So right around $16.91, this becomes now new level as well to keep an eye on. Now on daily level guys, Palantir, even though the RSI is overbought, um, vol volume is still strong, right? So that's a really good news. Then stock price is still above this 20, 50 and 200 days moving average, yellow, purple and red line respectively. Now unless and until it's not breaking any of it on the daily level, there is no swing short play. And on the swing long, you technically you can still even if stock price comes back down this 20 days moving average can be used as a support now definitely it's extended but this is what we have to be careful of again with stop losses if you try to play the bounce of 20 days moving average have your stop loss at some of the underneath levels which we'll be talking about in a moment on the hourly chart and until then guys until and unless it's not breaking 20 days moving average as i'm covering it's just a pullback that's the stock price is doing now let's go to the hourly chart and let's see at more precise what's been going on now we always should with the daily level we should always put a confluence together with hourly chart now what are we seeing on hourly chart this stock has been showing great strength and support since the time it broke this 200 now it becomes hourly moving average the red line because we are on inter interval of an hour right so as long as it stays above it you can you, you, your entry points could also be fifteen dollars and 35 cents on the shorter swing side or shorter intraday side if you'd like to trading hourly chart on intraday levels and potentially can become a tradable place to go long but then keep a stop loss below it based on you know the chart like if it's doing fake outs below these averages which it doesn't really does much the other things you can also have your stop losses at is the levels of consolidation. So this is another intraday actually level I'm seeing good support for now. And that is $15.30, but it's intraday right now. So I'm just going to mark it orange. Now, the, this level that right now it's running into, we marked it as in the previous uh, video as intraday level, but it has become a daily level now because it's still holding validity. Now look at it, it's very close to this 50 hours moving average and then also price is just breaking below 50 hours moving average. If it can even find support here, um, potentially another support could be, you know, be in the books because of this consolidation, but this is gonna be on a very tighter scale, like tight stop loss and then the only potential trade 
place would become like all the way to this double top only because it has just recently formed double top i would not count that much on this level but keep an eye on it but the best you know level would be somewhere 200 hours moving average to between 16 or 3 is look at it it's doing a little bit of pullback but such type of when you see a massive drop like this and the candle is still big and it's getting to one of the levels there's a chance that it's gonna slip through so just be very careful on these type of levels when you see the price is just breaking a moving average around that as well so um and that's why you know we gotta see a slowdown slowdown in the sense of the candles you know strength for example look at it here when the price was getting to this level you see candle green candle and then consolidation so always wait for some consolidation for the swing positions and even on like five minutes you should you know uh, look for some consolidation to even play like shorter time frames but guys this is what i'm looking for palantir even if rsi is super hot it's not like you can like don't play short right now just because the stock is looking strong momentum and it's still above this 200 hours moving average you can still have you know like for example you can still play this 16 dollars 91 cents as a double top short all the way to next level sure intraday positions can still be taken guys on short if you really like taking short positions um but on the swing it's like more like for long uh interval traders who like trading on like easy trading not easy trading nothing is easy trading but someone who likes to work on longer time frames and not have stress of like what's happening every minute and five minutes in those cases we have to look at you know uh, wider um time frames so yeah this is something with palantir guys also any break out of 16 dollars and 92 cents uh if it keeps consolidating like this and keeps up on this trend any break of 69 dollars and 92 cents is a breakout level to play all the way to next level of 17 dollars and 81 cents all right guys this was with palantir let's take a look at now so far so far let it load all right here we go so so far on hourly chart um let's take a look take a look at first daily level and we do have a spinning top here and which is which has followed with a sell-off so it's a gap down candle and then it's continuation of sell-off um rsi is overbought so we watch for this level of $88.51 um, as if it ha holds as a support or not. So $8.43, you can just give or take a few cents there. I'm trying to kind of put together with these, you know, two pivots right over here and right over here. The good thing with Sofi is that it's above 20, 250 days moving average. The bounce can still happen at this 20 days moving average or even at this level that we just drew $8.47. Now momentum is coming strong but i don't count on it bouncing right off the bat because how steep this fall is looking so let's jump into the hourly chart for more uh look of it all right yeah so guys this level that we just drew so remember look it's below 20 hours and 50 hours moving average technically nine dollars and fifty cents was the place to play it short just because it broke 20 and 50 hours moving average both and also because it has been you can look in the chart history it was using 50 hours moving average as a good support so break of 50 hours moving average guys is what gives us the short play on it right watch this level now eight dollars and 47 cents or 42 cents whatever is showing up as we drew if it uses this as a support and also 200 hours moving average around this a long position could be tried but only up to the double top maybe ten dollars or even this consolidation of nine dollars there's not much room on this stock guys so i don't know as for how much position you would want to take to may even make something out of your money um this i would say if it holds if it all holds 844 watch for consolidation and potential a bounce from this 200 hours moving average and then it may go up um yeah but any break of this level to the downside together with the break of 200 hours moving average to the downside you yeah like um again this is so like there's 
shorting sure that could be played to the level of six dollars and 95 cents that's where we have the next consolidation um it's just that these stocks with you know very small price point they are not that great to short because there's not much downside on the stock right so um but yeah watch this level guys um eight dollars and 42 cents or 47 cents and also if supports at 200 hours moving average you can get a little bit of bounce here so as long as stock doesn't die like it doesn't lose its momentum and strength all right guys this was with sofi um let's take a look at carvana so carvana guys the last time we covered is was also because it was having its short squeeze and well and its short squeeze was back then 50% or so. I haven't checked lately what it is at right now. Um, so, uh, but I'm, you know, uh, because the Finvis doesn't update that quite often, it actually at least takes a week or two. So we will revisit this, like, say, by next week where the short squeeze is. Um, but usually if the short squeeze from 50% is coming down to 30%, stock price would have made massive moves, but that's not been the case. So, however we were covering that the very well because stock is uh, now about 20 50 and 200 days moving average so any pullback back down can also be used as a you know bounce play and then 19 dollars and 94 cents is what i was telling on daily level to watch for as a good support and then it has cried all the way to form this double top so whenever stock falls this much there is definitely a potential to try to play double top and so this is where if you did take a bounce long position, maybe time to book profit or get out. And because based on this huge red candle, but that's the thing. We have to look for the support levels, guys, because technically it's about this, you know, moving averages. So which is not that far away from it, right? So there's still potential. We just have to see if it's going to fill in all that, you know, criteria to keep going up. Momentum is slowing down. Volume is slowing down. So keep an eye on it. This is definitely then, you know, little, not really providing us that conviction. RSI is overbought, but that's um, considering it's on the upward trajectory and it's not super extended. Uh, we don't have to worry too much about it. Now, let's look at the hourly chart for potential levels for positions. Like, what are we looking at it? Okay, so... 50 hours moving average in the past is what Carvana has been using as a good support. So technically, even until guys $20.54, if you see stock price on hourly level starts consolidating here, and yeah, and it makes it way above 50 hours moving average again, like right now it's above 50 hours moving average, but if it shows strength around it, 50 hours moving average as well, this could be potentially traded as a long, but just remember because it's selling off at this double top, I would be careful. So do book your profits and definitely stop loss below 50 hours moving average somewhere and below this consolidation as well, uh, which will be putting you below $23.48. Um, so also make sure you put your stop loss below that. The best way to trade it would be guys, always wait for the candle like um around these moving averages a green strong candle on hourly chart right now look at it it's selling off so unless and until you don't see another green candle don't enter into this trade just because it's a little bit like up on the side slowing down but definitely any break of now 26 dollars and 95 cents is a breakout play so if in carvana stock price does not fall much below and it just consolidates here and tries to go up, it may very well break out of this $27.36. And if it doesn't break out, you have your trailing stop loss somewhere below that so that even if you took the position here, you still took some profit. You did not go in full, you know, you did not lose your whole position, right? So Carvana, guys, that's what I'm looking at it. On hourly chart, it's still, you know, technically bullish because it's above 50, 20 hours, sorry, above 50 hours moving average. And it hasn't broken any neckline. So even if it has broken 20 hours moving average, it hasn't broken any neckline. So it's not looking to me as if it's the place to short, you know, because even on daily level, the momentum that we have above the moving averages, guys, 
it's very like close coordinated because moving averages have just converged in the direction of 20 has gotten over 200 and 50 is about to cross as well 200 so regardless what the analyst says technically with so such a high short float uh, like short interest of so high this may very well have a potential of maybe keep squeezing as long as it keeps breaking these levels so you have to manage your risk entry position and the levels that we talked about and stop losses as we talked about and this is how if i would be trading carvana this is how i would trade it keep an eye on the volume as well or and any potential news that comes in okay All right guys these were the three stocks i wanted to cover palantir sofa and carvana if you found value in this video please hit the like and subscribe with that i'll see you in my next video guys take care